William Francis Gibbs is one of the great uh, American builders of all time. He was uh, born in Philadelphia in 1886. At the age of eight, he saw this beautiful ship roar down the ways and splash into the Delaware River, and he said, from that moment, I knew I wanted to be a naval architect. The SS United States was finished in 1952. He spent 40 years of his life in pursuit of a really magnificent dream, creating the finest, fastest ocean line in the world. These engines could develop 240,000 horsepower plus. So imagine a structure the size of the Chrysler Building turned on its side and going through the ocean, the North Atlantic, at over 40 miles per hour. She took the transatlantic speed record in the Queen Mary with a crossing time of three days, 10 hours, and 40 minutes. That was a huge symbol of international prestige of a time when America was truly on top of the world. The ship was totally American built from top to bottom. At its capacity, the SS United States could carry 2,000 passengers and 1,000 crew members. So there were legions of people there to attend to the passengers' needs. We had students going abroad, people immigrating over from Europe, she was not just a passenger liner, she was also built to be a weapon in the Cold War that could carry 14,000 soldiers and could steam 10,000 miles without refueling. But what happened was the jet passenger aircraft arrived in 1958. The plan is for the ship to be turned into a stationary attraction. But if there's no real estate deal by November of 2012, Lenfest funding will run out and the ship will get sold for scrap. Someone once asked William Francis Gibbs, do you love that ship more than your wife? And he said, you're a thousand percent correct. That really fascinated me, how someone could be that devoted to a creation. For me, it's a story of American achievement. It's a story of one man following his passion and sticking with it. And I think it's a real lesson for today's society.